Hello and welcome to this little intro video of our newest utility module. It's called Daumentrix, or in short, HDM, and it brings buffer functions for CV and audio routing. Basically, it's a 6-in, 9-out matrix mixer and a 3-weight buffered mult with adder and an inverter. If that interests you, stick around for a technical breakdown and some audio examples. If you wonder about the name, that is something I will explain later at the very end. Okay, let's start with the control voltage part. We have four inputs, two at the right side, two at the bottom. The most left one feeds a simple voltage buffer. What goes in comes out at the exact same voltage and it is buffered. So it basically makes a copy of the input. Why would you need that? Bananas are stackables by nature, so why duplicate the signal? If you have a Bookla 200E system, almost all modules have unbuffered outputs, with the 251E being the one exception. If you set your pitch to be exact 3.6V for example, and you feed only one oscillator with it, it will drop a small percentage. But if you connect two or more, you will be almost a node off and tracking is a nightmare. The HDM fixes that by providing three independent buffers for precise pitch signal sharing. The next feature is a summing mixer. It adds the two buffered signals from the lower right outputs together and provides a summed output. It's very useful if you have a nice melody from quantizer or sequencer and you want to transpose it up or down. Just feed the signals into the adjacent inputs, feed the output into your oscillator. Perfect for some live improvisations. The last CV function is the inverter. This one is normalized to 10 volt. Without a signal input, you have a 10 volt source here that you can use to feed other modulation destinations. But once you've feeded a signal, it subtracts that signal from 10 volt. So if you feed it a 10 volt LFO, you will get a mirrored copy out of it, going high where it went low before and vice versa. Okay, that concludes the CV part. Let's talk about the big audio section. The idea is that it provides multiple buffered copies of one or more separate and combined audio signals at modular level. For example, if you want to feed a signal from an oscillator to a filter, a resonator, a scope or mixer and use it for FM at the same time, you will need something like this. We are looking at two rows of three normal inputs. Normal means cascading, so the signal from the first travels to the second and the third if nothing is plugged into those. The signal is then buffered and fed into three output stages, either vertically or horizontally. Signals that meet at the cross section are mixed together with equal power. From that section on, the mixed signal now travels further down the matrix, providing multiple buffered copies of the same combination. Okay, that's a lot of words. Let's look at some examples to make that clear. We start by using only one signal and I will illustrate the signal path with some overlay colors. Here it is. One single signal which we plug into input 1. It will be copied to the right through the normal jacks and down through the buffers. So now it is present at all 9 outputs at the same time and you can feed a lot of different destinations with it now. Let's add a second signal at the A input. The signals meet at the A1 section and they will be added together. Due to the normalizing that we had earlier, they also meet at every possible intersection and we have 9 copies of a mixed signal now. Let's move our signals to inputs 2 and input B. This totally changes the nature of the outputs. The first intersection is now empty, as expected. The output right next to the B input carries a signal from B, and also the one below, called C1, has a copy of the B signal, as C is being fed by B through normalization. 
In the A row above, we see the same, as A2 is a direct copy and A3 is the downstream one. So our two inputs generated two copies each. But let's look at B2, the intersection of our signals. Here we get the mix signal again, but not only here. Because the normal copies also meet at C2, B3 and C3. So we get four mix signals now. Easy, right? Once we add a third signal, even more combinations are appearing. Let's plug a signal into C1 and see what happens now. At C1, we just get a copy, as the first column is empty. At C2, signal 2 is being mixed in, and the same combined output is now present at C3. One can even feed a mixed signal back into a new input and get a 3 signal mix out of it. Actually, this trick works with all 6 inputs. If the intention is just to combine a lot of different signals, instead of making multiple copies, this is what you will do. So, about the name. It is actually an homage to the Danish art house movement of the 90s, Dogma 95. Lars von Trier and some of his colleagues were fed up with the blockbuster mentality and vote to make movies without all the bells and whistles. No post-production, no fancy lights, no set dressing. And the HDM is trying to capture that spirit. No attenuators, LEDs, pots or switches, no menu diving, calibrating and other things that can get in the way of creativity. Just inputs and outputs and some clever combinations in between. Okay, I hope you find it as useful as we do. Have fun and make some noise. <laughs>